Hi, it's Kim Wilkins, aka Tech Kim, and I'm going to be doing a follow on to the web literacy map tutorial, uh, focusing on this building uh, section of the web literacy map. And we're going to be using the Thimble tool and cr using uh, Create Our First Page Thimble Project. And you kind of know that you're in Thimble, or uh, something's a Thimble project when you say this way made by a webmaker um, icon and you see a remix button. And Remix, this is sort of the powerful thing about Thimble. What it lets you do is in the right hand side, you get to see what a web page looks like. Um, in the left hand side, you see the code that makes that web page possible. And then with some Thimble projects, you'll actually get a tutorial to go with that project. So this is a tutorial to take you through how to make the changes for this project. So let's just click through this. So the first thing you're going to be doing is changing the text. and you're looking for the H1 tag. Now H1 tag and changing anything having to do with text, image, videos, uh, basically the content of your web is dealt with with HTML tags. That's hypertext markup language. And that's how the browser knows what content should be on your web. So we'll look for that tag and it wants us to change what's inside it. You'll notice that most HTML tags come with a start tag and then this end tag that has a slash in front of it. And if you just change this, oops, <laughs> there you go. Now I've changed the title um, there. And I can also look for the P tags. And if I scroll down, there's the P tag. and. Can you guess what the PDAG is for? That's what it's for. All right, let's continue on. And the other uh, thing you can change are images. So we have this image that came with it, and you're looking for the IMG tag. So there it is. And this offers you a place to go called Creative Commons. Um, and this is a really great tool to use when you're looking for images because these have been marked as available for reuse. So you type your search phrase in and then click Google Images. And you'll go to Google Images, you'll just not get all the images that you usually do. When you're in Google Images and trying to get an image, don't try to copy this link location. This is just going to give you Google's um, reference to that image, you actually need to click view image and then either right click and copy image location or highlight this whole URL and copy that. All right, and now we need to uh, replace everything inside the double quotes. So actually I need to delete what's there. Now delete a quote and then paste your new image and there it is. Now it's really large and this is telling me hey, I could uh, try changing this number 500, the width, to... Uh, there it goes away. And there we go, that's better. All right, and now we're going to add some colors. So we've been dealing with HTML, which again uh, lets the browser know what content's going to be on your page. And now we want to go look at something called the CSS, the Cascading Style Sheet, the style. This is what lets the browser know what kind of colors and layout and fonts you want. So the first thing we get to do is change some colors. A couple ways you can do this. You can um, look at the list of uh, valid color names. So maybe royal blue for something. So instead of black, I'll say royal blue. And there it changed my title, my H1, because that's the style that I was changing. Another way is color picker. So um, you can pick all the colors of the rainbow and the way that you get their values is this um, hex value here. So just grab what you want, copy and paste that. And I'm going to get rid of this FFF and I need to keep the pound sign. Now you see my background colors changed. And then finally, you can change the font. Um, so we have Georgia there. We can get, click here and see a list of safe web fonts. These are fonts. Um, the way fonts work is they actually get lifted from your computer. So we need to use fonts that we think are pretty sure to be at computers around the world. So I will just uh, try this Verdana. And sometimes you'll see, I'm actually going to just add this to this list and do a comma 
you see that that changed. The reason you might see multiple fonts listed in the font family is because it's gonna, if that first font isn't available on your computer, then it can try the next font and so on and so on. All right, and there we go with our first web page make. Um, at this point, you'll want to log in so you get to save it. And you'll save it. You can give it whatever name you'd like. Um, these tags are ways that it can be searched on. And this tutorial tag is what's allowing this tutorial to show up. So if you want to get rid of that, you can just delete that and just click Save. And you're going to get um, a URL here. <laughs> There it is, a URL, and there is your page. Um, and then you can always go back and remix it and share it with others. And what I hope you do is take this URL and come back to my page and share your creation in something called a Mopad. You just copy and paste it there, and we'll be able to see what folks are making. So good luck.